make an urgent trip to Lesotho following a somersault by Lesotho opposition to withdraw from SADC reform process. The opposition blames the government for derailing the reforms process by flouting the constitution. The government must observe rule of law. A number of court orders that were issued against government, government must respect. The issue of Julian Mohe Kwa's association, uh, the issue of court orders that were issued against it in catering uh, issues pertaining uh, hospitals, catering, the issue of uh, Chief Justice uh, and Tumim Majara, and the issue of court orders that were issued against government while it was trying to recall the diplomas. But it seems it was the suspension of the Chief Justice and Tumim Majara that broke the camel's back and they are not backing down. No, 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 no compromise on that. The government must completely not intervene in the judiciary. The separation of powers is the principle that must stand between the arms of government. The government cannot be seen to be bullying all other institutions. Then our democracy will die. Justice Mosenek has also met government officials behind closed doors. And it seems the facilitation team will have to double up its efforts if they are to keep to their tight schedule. We had a full day of work today. Uh, we met leaders of the opposition, we met government, we met parties, oppositions outside parliament, and indeed we've met with the Chief Justice, and we've dealt with a number of issues which are now at a very sensitive stage. And we should be back next week with a little more time to deal with these issues and to advance the agenda of the national dialogue. Is the schedule still in progress? Well, there, there might be adjustments to the dates. That's what we're debating next week. There might be adjustments to the dates, but the whole effort is still... The roadmap is very much alive, and we're still on track. SADC has outlined strict deadlines for the Soto to complete reforms program by May 2019. Sadak Standby Force is expected to leave Lesotho by the end of November 2018, a situation that might raise new security challenges to the fragile mountain kingdom of Lesotho. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserol Lesotho.